Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Phenology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all some stocks that are about to go crazy within the next few days and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of our last video, right after the intro. All right, y'all, before we begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. All right, so let's get started right off the bat. We have the SPY right now. And um, in the last video, I told y'all that I was bullish on it, that I was expecting to move all the way up towards like over here in this range. And then on Friday, it immediately tanked. And then the, this floor right here broke and we had our sell off today. All right. And also one thing that you'll want to pay attention to is that during the market hours between like um, in the last 40 minutes, a lot of money flooded into the market. This is big money going in here. Um, I think again, also, if you look on here, it's very, very sharp right there. So this is a reversal. Um, definitely watch the spy for a move all the way up to 4400 tomorrow, maybe a little bit higher. All right, this is gonna last for like a day and a half. We might see some like turbulence on like Wednesday morning. So, again, keep your eyes on the spy for a long. This is not where you want to be bearish and you want to short. This is where you get calls. All right. So now let's talk about the first stock, actually. The first stock is about to go crazy tomorrow. That stock is WYNN. All right, and the reason why I want to share this one with you, and this is a resort stock. Um, the one little detail that I want to share is right over here. This gap right here at 80 bucks, which took months and months and months, right, to get filled. It finally got filled today. All right, there is some volume, which is also good. This is something that I look at. Um, people are interested in the stock, people are buying, especially after um, a lot of bad news and a lot of sell offs. Watch this one for a rebound. Also, the market is reversing, the Dow is also reversing, right? Therefore, this is definitely something that you want to look for for tomorrow. I think it's going to open up at like $83 and then run to $85 and then eventually go up to like 90 right over here. All right. So keep this one on your watch list. So that's the first one. All right. The second one, the second one that I want to share with you, I guess since we're talking about the resorts, the rest talk about the travel airlines. Um, the next one is UAL, all right? And the reason why I wanna share this one with y'all is because of this. If you look on the daily time frame and you go over here, there's three floors right there, all right? Three bottoms right over here. And the, today, lots of buyers down here, all right? And also, if you change the time frame to the five minute time frame and you zoom in right there, there is a bullish pennant that broke out quite cleanly again in the last 40 minutes of market hours and um it just kept running and i think that it's gonna go all the way up towards 46.5 tomorrow maybe even 47 dollars tomorrow so definitely keep this one on your watch list um i decided to look at this one because somebody in our discord mentioned aal and pretty much if you look at all of the um all of the airlines they all follow the same trend I thought this one was gonna run a little bit earlier over here, and then it just became really, really slow. And then I checked out UAL, and UAL looked really, really clean. And yeah, this one was the one that I decided to buy calls on. So watch this one for a long. The next one that we're gonna talk about in this video, that stock is PayPal, all right? And PayPal also had a sell off, as y'all can see. Um, also, if you look over here, lots of buyers, dip buyers accumulating the stock. Um, the reason why I want to share this one with y'all is because of this. If you look at the daily chart, it's like right at support right here. All right. Very, very 
bullish hammer at the bottom and the majority of this volume is buyer's volume so keep this one in your watch list for a rebound off of this low it would have been nice if it dropped just a little bit lower towards like 262 that would have been really 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 nice but i think it's good now again even though because the market is reversed so keep this one on your watch list for a move all the way up towards like 200 and $77 by like Tuesday, all right? So that's the third one. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. So the very first one that we're going to be addressing, somebody asked a question about um, Pinterest, all right? And in the last video, in one of the videos that I've talked about Pinterest, um, I don't like this stock because it just consolidates over here and doesn't do much at all like nobody wins over here um, it's very boring for short sellers to short this thing and um there is no excitement at all to go long it had i think this earnings date was the same as amazon amazon rec recovered really really well over here like it had a good move and amazon spiked all the way up to like 35.50 right but this one just stayed over here and didn't do much so it, it kind of got left behind by the overall tech it just so I, I i don't like this one at all i'm not going to be buying this one um there is a lot better opportunities in the market and the reason why is because i don't know exactly how long it's gonna be chilling in here again trading options you have to know two sides of it where it's gonna go and also by when it's gonna get there so if you want to play safe and you want to buy calls that are like very far out you can but we're trade with day traders so um i'm gonna leave this one out i'm not gonna be touching this one so that's my very honest opinion of the stock it could bounce it could i just don't know how far it's gonna get um the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video somebody asked about teledoc all right and regarding Teladoc, something interesting is actually forming on the charts. And it's almost it's almost there. Um, it looked really bullish last week. And obviously the market sell-off kind of slowed it down a little bit. But I think that it's going to consolidate for maybe one or two days before it starts recovering. Um, this stock moves with Zoom. It does. So also watch Zoom as well. It is at a previous lows. And if you look at Zoom, Zoom also had a similar action, right? It's bouncing off the lows from like way back here, which is a great level to be looking at. And I don't think it's going to stay in here for too long as well. I think it's going to climb back here and, and reclaim 300 very, very soon. Probably like I'll give it within like two weeks, it's going to get in here. So um, keep this one in your watch list as well for a long. I'm not bearish on Teladoc at these levels, and I'm also not bearish on Zoom. I just think that it's 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 gonna consolidate just a little bit before moving back up again. All right. Now, um, the last stock that we're going to be addressing in this video, somebody mentioned in the comment section about a falling wedge on Pfizer. And I do see, I think I do see the falling wedge. We change this to the four hour time frame. Yeah, the falling wedge was over here. And obviously the little sell off that we had kind of brought it down a little bit and then made it bounce back like right here. This is what I'm talking about right there. Um, overall, I think it can, I think it can reverse. I think it's going to go to $45 with the market. It's looking quite good. I'm not bearish on this one. And also, if you like zoom out towards the daily, you can clearly see that it's bouncing off of a previous level of support right over here. If you change it to the four hour, it's even better because there are some wicks right over here that also kind of plays a factor in the way it's going to bounce. So yeah, it's either going to bounce now or it might make a double bottom and it bounce. But this is a good level. Again, if you like the stock, this is a good level to actually get in to sell between $45 and $46 somewhere over here. All right. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. It helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, 
definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you would like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul of Guma and at Analogy lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks with up to $1,850. Right after you sign up with Webull, using the third link in the description of the video, below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma, Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, all right? Enjoy the outro.